Another day in room 605. Prompt, do you believe more in destiny or free will? Today, my editor-in-chief assigned the staff that writing prompt. In the film, Unstuck in Time, the author Kurt Vonnegut confessed we don't know the first thing about time. Yet, we live on such linear timelines, looking back, planning for the future. I see time as chutes and ladders on a y-axis, not an x-axis. The x-axis tricks us to think of time as linear, but I know right now as I'm writing, I am unstuck in time and my mind wanders at 3,000 words a minute. Not as fast as the speed of light, but maybe at the speed of sound. My memories bounce and collide in some super collider, creating energy that supplies my brain with materials to produce my stories, my poems, and my essays. I'm also a fan of non-linear narratives where pieces of the puzzle are arranged in a way that surprises the reader or viewer when the tale is completed and the last piece is placed. Both fate and free will work hand in glove. It's like a fish tank. The goldfish at PetSmart who gets snagged with the net from the gal in the blue shirt did not ask to be separated. That's fate. But once the goldfish gets placed in my pond, the fish has the free will to roam at will within the confines of the physical universe. The goldfish will make new friends and even find love in the water and enjoy the spray of the fountain. The fish also needs to avoid the filter. I have found dead fish in my filter. It's like the dance where I met my wife, Mary Jane. I was supposed to see this girl, Lisa, and go bowling. I had been pursuing this unavailable woman for two years, and then suddenly, boom, her engagement was over. What would I do? It was free will that made me go to that dance on Boathouse Row number two. It was me who asked Mary Jane to dance. I was doing the things the old Walter would never do. And so was it also fate? Did God, some force, some oversoul, really want us together? Did God want our daughters Madeline and Nancy to be born? I don't know. I like to think a higher power is at work, but I had to make the success happen through grit, determination, and opening myself to new ways of thinking. And so I climb up the ladder like a ghost who departs my body to look beyond the trees and the walls around me. And I slide down the chute into the mystical subconscious of self to recover myself and the things that have been forgotten or the unseen thorn that needs to be removed that has caused so much pain. And it takes effort and energy and surrender to climb and to slide. And the ability to know that I am enough to make it happen within the confines of my physical universe, regardless of the obstacles and events that revolve around me. So it goes.